Ever wondered what has been happening recently in Gaza? Let's delve into it. The Israeli warplanes have recently conducted fresh aerial assaults on residential buildings in Gaza City, leading to the death of at least 45 Palestinians. The Palestinian Wafa News Agency cited eyewitness accounts stating that 25 civilians lost their lives in an Israeli airstrike that targeted the Hamada family's home in the Al Tufa neighborhood east of Gaza City. The tragedy didn't end there. Another report revealed that Israeli jets targeted a house in Gaza City's Sabra district, resulting in the death of at least 20 people, mostly children and women, and several others were wounded. The accounts are sobering, painting a stark picture of the violence that has been inflicted upon the civilians. As we see, the situation in Gaza is dire, with civilians bearing the brunt of the conflict. The violence extends beyond Gaza City, reaching even the most vulnerable. In the heart of Gaza, the Nusayrat refugee camp, a place that should be a sanctuary for those displaced, has been subjected to Israeli air raids. This is not a battlefield, but a community, where families live, children play, and dreams of a peaceful future persist. Moving further south, we find Khan Yunus. Known for its rich history and vibrant culture, it is now marred by the scars of conflict. The vicinity of a residential building here filled with stories of generations became a target for the Israeli artillery. In both these places, the echoes of explosions have become a chillingly familiar sound, disrupting the rhythm of everyday life. The threat to civilian life in these areas is real and ongoing, with each new day bringing uncertainty and fear. The people of Nusayrat and Khan Yunis, like all Ghazans, are caught in the crossfire of a conflict that shows no signs of resolution. These attacks show that no place in Gaza is safe from the ongoing conflict. The international community has not been silent about these events. They've watched as the death toll in Gaza has risen dramatically since the aggression began, with over 26,000 Palestinians, mostly women and children, losing their lives, and more than 65,000 others injured. The devastation, the loss, the pain, all are palpable and deeply unsettling. In response, the United Nations International Court of Justice, based in The Hague, issued an emergency interim ruling. This ruling ordered Israel to prevent genocide against Palestinians in Gaza. It was a clear and powerful message. The world will not stand by while atrocities unfold. But it's not just about preventing further loss of life. The court also ordered Israel to take all measures in its power to limit the destruction caused by its offensive, to prevent and punish incitement to genocide, and to ensure access to humanitarian aid. It's a tall order, but one that underscores the gravity of the situation. Yet, despite the mounting casualties and the international outcry, the Tel Aviv regime has failed to achieve its objectives in the Gaza Strip. The situation remains tense, fraught with uncertainty. With the world watching, the future of the Gaza Strip hangs in the balance.